Today we tell you the story of a young girl who was taken captive by a dragon and gave birth to his child. The dragons are a single lineage. When the hero's generation comes, he becomes a dragon and inherits his ancestors' memories. He saw that the dragons had to capture a human woman to burn her to death in order to give birth to the next generation. He felt that it was cruel. He didn't want to be a dragon anymore. On this day, the king was marrying his daughter. It was traditional for the little girl to lie in the boat, waiting for her prince to pull her back to the shore with a rope. During the wedding ceremony, the prince was bragging about his family, was once a warrior against the dragons, so he asked his ministers to sing the old dragon song. The dragon song was used in ancient times to summon the dragons. It was only sung when a woman was offered as a tribute, so the little dragon were summoned and automatically turned into a dragon. It flew in and grabbed the heroine. He thought it was a tribute offered to him by humans. When the little dragon man arrived on Dragon Island and hurriedly threw the little girl into a hole. The little girl woke up. She tried to escape. She cut off her hair and used it to make a rope. There's a lot of hair. Then she hooked herself into a hole in the rock, tries to climb out but falls down. The little girl was not satisfied. She continued to hit the wall with rocks, but she broke it. The wall was seen to made of dough. It was so easy to break. The girl had just escaped from the cave. She encountered the little dragon man. She was scared and ran everywhere. She accidentally ran into a cliff. At that moment, the little dragon man regained his human form girl was forced to the edge of a cliff. The little dragon man in human form came and told her that it was dangerous to stay put. The girl became even more excited. She fell off the cliff without incident. The kind-hearted little dragon man also jumped down. He turned into a dragon to protect the little girl. Finally they fell to the ground. When the little girl got up, she saw the little dragon man unconscious and about to be swept away by the sea. She didn't know what to do, but as she watched the little dragon's cat screaming next to him and the fact that he had just saved her life. So the girl's heart softened. She dragged the dragon dragon man back to the shore and took him into the cave to look after him. Suddenly, it started to rain heavily as she slept. She leaned on the little dragon man. After dawn, the girl found a fire. There was fruit next to it. The gargoyle was quite gentle. Then she came out and saw the little dragon man catching fish. So she kicked over the pot to get his attention. She asked him what this was all about. Then he told her about the origin of the dragons. He also told her that she couldn't run away. If she ran away, she would be recaptured. You can only be saved by the one you love. The only way to find Dragon Island is to be guided by love. The little girl was not sure if the prince would find her. Then the little dragon man suddenly fell down. The little girl tried to help him. But the little dragon man refused to let her come near. Because as soon as the girl touched him, he would transform. I don't want to hurt you. The little girl felt so sorry for the little dragon man. And he was quite handsome. So she decided to take him to experience human life. To help him overcome his dragon bloodline. Earl and Gargoyle start living together on a desert island, washing clothes and decorating the house together, watching the sky, watching the flower petals, watching the fireworks. Then they fell in love with each other. While the little dragon man was teaching the little girl how to fly a kite, he suddenly wanted to become a dragon. He hid himself so as not to hurt the little girl. He found her hidden tools to escape. Then he misunderstood. So when the little girl came to him, he said in anger, so you've been trying to get away from me. In that case, you should go. The girl was very upset too. She thought they had fallen in love. It seemed that the little dragon man didn't love her at all. So she left in the boat disheartened. The little dragon man struggled to keep himself from turning into a dragon. On the other hand, the prince kept getting lost at sea with his men. When he was about to give up and go home, he saw the little girl who had escaped. The little girl lied to everyone that the dragon had fallen to his death. When she returned home, the king had to help his daughter get married again. So the girl put on her bridal clothes again. Just as the prince was about to drag her to the shore, the little girl suddenly sat up. She said, I'm in love with the dragon. I want to marry him. When the prince heard this, he was speechless. He regretted saving her. Then the girl began to sing the dragon song. And sure enough, the little dragon man was summoned once more. Once again, he flew in to take the girl back to Dragon Island. Just as the little dragon man was being controlled by the dragon bloodline, he was about to spit fire and burn the little girl. The little girl said, I love you whether you are a human or a dragon. Then she gave the dragon a kiss. In the end, they had a child and lived happily ever after.